Welcome to Career Journeys, a series of videos by the Consortium for Public Education. Here we explore the career experiences and pathways of professionals from a wide variety of careers to help you think about the skills you'll need and the paths you might take after high school. I'm Gina Barrett, a program director with the Consortium for Public Education. And today I'm here with Eric Wilson, a patrol sergeant with Port Authority of Allegheny County. Eric, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Can you give us a little bit of information and let us know what does a patrol sergeant for Port Authority do? Well, sure, but before I get into that, let me go back and say I've been in law enforcement for 22 years, and it is a uh, family thing that we have done through generations. I have uh, luckily worked in a variety of departments prior to the Port Authority, uh, I worked at a school district, I've worked at a borough, and I've worked at a university, and then my final uh, destination was, was actually the Port Authority. Um, there are no, no normal days at the Port Authority, or in any law enforcement career, there are no normal days. Unfortunately, with the pandemic and things that are happening now, a very stressful time. But I would actually say that law enforcement is a great career for anybody because we offer uh, education incentives, healthcare incentives, and benefit benefit packages uh, on retirement. So it, law enforcement is great. Um, uh, it, you can actually do it. Anybody can do it. Uh, even if there are some uh, scars on maybe uh, things you did in the past as a, a, a juvenile, but most importantly, anybody can get into law enforcement, and it's a, it's a great thing. And I'm like I said, I've been doing it for. 22 and a half years, so I love it. <laughs> I'm sure that you don't have a typical days. I'm sure they look differently, but what what is a day like for you when you start off and you head to work? What, what does that look like? So as a patrol sergeant, I'm actually in charge of the shift and uh, I have uh, officers and detectives that are under my charge for uh, daily duties. So I assign them to their uh, various uh, patrol zones, um, detectives if they're doing uh, you know uh, investigations and so on and so forth but there uh, and then on top of the normal patrol assignments for which hey we do traffic stops investigations uh, domestics fights whatnot drugs a lot of drugs unfortunately um, I would I would deal with that but on top of those duties I also have to deal with dignitary protection so if there's a the president's coming to town um, if uh, we are dealing with uh, public demonstrations. Uh, we're trying to figure out how we're gonna uh, route that and put resources to that. So uh, there, like I said, unfortunately, there's no typical day anymore, um, but uh, a patrol sergeant actually runs the whole shift. Uh, there are guys above me with our lieutenants and uh, assistant chiefs or chiefs that actually uh, manage on the administrative level in the office on, on dealing things. But, the patrol sergeant is actually the guy that you see out there on the street that is actually directing uh, detectives and, and uh, patrol officers on what they should be doing. I, you mentioned that you have uh, been in, in this type of field for, for many years and in different areas, a school district, a borough, now with Port Authority. How does that look different? Well, it was actually a great experience for me. I enjoyed working for uh, both the school district, the borough, and uh, the university setting. Um, I think it, it it gave me the resources that I actually needed for the Port Authority Police because we're a very unique and specialized department. But working for a school district, I got to work with kids and juveniles, and so I got to bring them up from uh, the high school setting on saying, hey, this isn't a bad career for you guys if you want to do this this is doable and you know there's a lot of different assets uh, uh, facets that you could do in the aspect of you know not necessarily patrol work or wearing a uniform but I mean you can go into uh, being a detective in investigations to working uh, the medical examiner's office so there's a lot of different fields within law enforcement that I think people don't realize that you can get into and you don't necessarily have to be the guy that's out there making a traffic stop or, or, or doing a drug arrest uh, in that fashion. Working the uh, borough was great on the aspect of you get to learn your community residents and so you really have that community bond and people know you so that was 
fantastic. And then obviously with the university setting, that was that was probably the best experience uh, because I was now at the level where I'm dealing with the students that are trying to figure out what they want to do in life and saying, hey, if you want to look into this, here we go. And I, not necessarily even on a local level, but it's great because I was able to influence them on the aspect of, well, look at the FBI or the Secret Service or the United Marshal Service. I, there's so many different assets in, in uh, law enforcement that you can get into that uh, once I, I want to say benefits <laughs> and retirement, health care. I don't think a lot of people realize that, you know, you don't have to be this guy that's necessarily on the streets or taking people into custody or being physical with people. There's cyber crimes. There's, uh, you know, all the internet fraud and, and, and financial uh, aspects and things of that nature that, you know, that people don't realize that law enforcement actually deals with. Um, that uh, I, I think that if people could really have a sit down and talk like we're doing now, they'd say, wow, we didn't realize law enforcement actually covers all that until you need us, until someone dials 911 for whatever the reason might be. But uh, that, that, that's, uh, that's what I would say on it. So. <laughs> what are some of the, the characteristics, some of your traits that make you good at what you do? So some of the traits that actually make me good at what I do are actually being multilingual. Um, I, I, I relate good actually from my previous law enforcement experience with uh, the universities, the borough, and uh, the dealing with the school district. So I have a good rapport on how to interact and manage with people. Um, I think that uh, obviously uh, my career growing up and experiences with uh, the university and just places that I've lived and visited that uh, I have a, an ability to talk to people. And I think the biggest thing in law enforcement that people need to know is that we just wanna have a conversation. So if we can have a conversation, uh, that usually mitigates 90% of issues. 10% of the time when people can't, that's when things go awry. Is there any other final thoughts that you have for, for students who are watching this today? Please look into law enforcement. I know uh, a lot of folks think that uh, it's negative and uh, with society issues right now and the pandemic that it's not good. But if, uh, if I could tell my kids to go into law enforcement, I would. I've told my family members to go into law enforcement and just, you know, just look at it in general and in broad eyes to say, what do they offer? And if you see the things that law enforcement offers, and I'm not just saying as a general police officer, if you want to go on the federal level or, or different aspects, which I have many friends on various agencies, I would offer up to talk to you guys that law enforcement is great and good and will always be around. So um, unfortunately, we'll never go away. There's always going to be a need. And if we can just take the moment of pause to say, okay, I understand what you're doing. We need you. Well, Eric, thank you so much for being with us today and sharing all your advice and your thoughts. We really appreciate you having uh, having you participate in the Career Journeys video series for us. Thank you. For more information or to learn about other careers in the Career Journey series, visit our website and check back soon for our next installment. Thanks.